All right, everybody, welcome to the new Minecraft Bedrock Preview. This is not a Java snapshot, but I assume that'll come soon. And then we can load it into the Hardcore series. This is our introduction to the armadillos and wolf armor straight out of the mob boat for this year. This is what they look like. They're very cute. You can find them in savanna biomes and they're chill for now. But if I run up to him, he'll get scared and he'll ball up. Though I'm going to be honest, it doesn't seem like the most effective defensive position, given that his face is still completely exposed. And I think the face and head are, are pretty important parts of the body. And as you can see, they periodically drop scutes, kind of like chickens lay eggs. Although you don't have to rely on them just randomly dropping the scutes in order to harvest them. So there is actually now a new use for brushes, which seems like a really weird tool for doing this. But if you brush an armadillo, then off pops a scute. You don't have to wait for a, a baby to grow into an adult like turtles or something like that. You're actually pretty only limited by brush durability here. Otherwise, they seem to just keep giving you scutes forever, but you can only get five with one brush before it breaks, which is one shy of what you need in order to make the wolf armor. So you just have to walk around and hope that you find an extra one or make a second brush. But it seems like in just having the armadillos walking around here, they've been dropping a decent amount of their scutes naturally, so it shouldn't be too difficult. But before we jump over to Wolf Farmer, maybe you want more armadillos to passively generate more scutes. I'm gonna let you take a wild guess. <laughs> what it is that they use to breed? You're probably wrong. Mmm. Spider eyes. What a delicious delicacy. Oh yeah, you smell that? Mmm, mmm, mmm. I gotta find you a partner. One second, buddy. Here, your new partner. All right, guys, have it. Yummy, yummy, yummy spider eyes. Delicious. And then out pops a little baby armadillo, which again, when it grows into an adult, it does not drop the scoot. I didn't know how it worked at first. I'm like feeding the baby armadillo like a ton of spider eyes and stuff. And I'm like, where's the scoot when it grows up? Where's the scoot? It doesn't have a scoot. Oh God, now it doesn't have a... Uh, you're just gonna be harding, uh, for a bit. This is awkward. All right, so Wolf Armor is made using the scutes. It takes six of them. It looks kind of like a, a mole rat or something like that, but it exists. At long last, I carry the key to a wolf's success in my hand, or so I hope. Let's put down a wolf. I guess we first have to tame it, and then... Put the armor on. This is a moment of extreme significance for you. Are you ready to be protected? Look at my boy. It almost, like it's, it kind of looks like it could be a fur pattern on, on the dog or something like that, but it is armor. Look, he's got little knee pads <laughs> on all of his, on all of his knees. All right, now you see this wolf armor. You see the texture, you see the color, and you're like, okay, so it's probably only leather protection, right? Actually, this is equivalent to diamond horse armor, which caught me even off guard. I was like, this is gonna be, it's gonna be like leather armor. It's probably not gonna do that much. It's diamond. I gotta hand it to him. It might not look it, but that's actually a pretty big deal. So. We gotta put you to the test, unfortunately. So, uh, first up, we have <laughs> the control test. All right, let's see how many shots this takes. Okay, that's one. He's missed two, three, four, five. I'm sorry to do this to you, buddy. Six, seven, eight, nine. That's very sad. And, um, wolf armor. All right. Let's see how you do. He gets the first hit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten. Okay, still going strong. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, you're a monster. How could you do this? So that was 14 shots versus nine on the unprotected pet wolf. So that's 55% more survivability with wolf armor than without, which is not bad. I mean, you get a full pack together now of 55% more survivable wolves, and you may actually be able to do some more damage and heal them quickly enough so that they can stay alive. So honestly, 
not bad so far. Pretty useful. I would probably want to give wolf armor to every single one of my wolf pets, especially with how easy it is to get a hold of the scutes. So, all in all, pretty good stuff. I feel like they've delivered okay on, on the wolf farm. It's going to be used. There's no reason not to use it. I think it'd be really cool if you could dye it different colors, and I'm going to keep my hopes up that that actually ends up being doable because it doesn't seem too far fetched. <laughs> you're sitting, you're not playing fetch at the moment, but anyway. Oh, also, if you want to remove the wolf armor from the wolf, you can just shear it and then it pops off. Easy. That is it for armadillos and wolf armor. For now, make sure to like the video, check the playlist for more Minecraft update related things with 1.21, and uh, thanks for watching. Boo!